Tuesday night and thank you for joining us here at KBZK. I'm Patrice Parks. Topping our newscast tonight, the Idaho Pole Company operated a wood treating facility near the northern limits of Bozeman from 1945 until the plant's closure in 1997. During plant operations, the release of hazardous substances resulted in soil and groundwater contamination. MTN's Kenneth Webb has the exclusive on the current status from the EPA about the contamination and its effort in the cleanup. The contamination started in uh, in the late 70s or early 80s, and it was not done on purpose. There was a weld that uh, broke in one of the tanks. However, new information came out Tuesday afternoon from the Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, at the county commissioner's boardroom that new levels show promising results to the old Idaho Pole Company's wood treating site. The soil component has been uh, treated to meet cleanup standards established in the record of decision and we have controls in place to restrict uh, what can and cannot be done on that property. As a result of that, we're going to proceed forward with deletion of the soil component of the remedy. The groundwater component will remain on the MPL, on the Superfund list. Idaho Pole Company says that they are continuing to make progress to the cleanup efforts. And I think it goes to show that uh, over the course of time, I know the pole has stepped up to the plate. They've done their cleanup, uh, and now we're headed towards a final cleanup and hopefully sale and uh, the property, and we can put it back into beneficial use again. The EPA says that they will continue to monitor the sites for decades to come and is now ready for restricted development. 20 to 30 years uh, longer that would require <coughs> monitoring. Soils were treated and placed back on site. The soils were treated to allow for commercial and industrial use. However, this is a good success story and the uh, ultimate goal of putting this site into uh, future land use or future redevelopment. The Idaho Pole Company currently has the property for sale and according to the EPA, it will take some time to get the soil component off the Superfund list. Reporting from Bozeman, Kenneth Webb, MTN News. Now for the full EPA details on the Idaho poll site, visit us online.